can we say hello, Mr. Bond? Hello, hello Mr. Bond. Good job, AJ. Nice one, guys. Hi guys. Uh, I'm Mason Bond. You may know Ionic Bond. That's my sister. And this is my dad, our dad. And today we're going to be doing some experiments with you guys. Today we're going to be doing a density experiment. So I am coming to you live from Nashville, Tennessee. And Fen Covalent Bond is coming to you from London, England. How cool is that? Yeah, yeah. It's weird. It's, we're on completely opposite ends of the earth. So what are our two experiments today? So guys, we're going to make two things. We're going to make our lava lamp. You can see this here. It's swooshing around. And then we're also going to make a density tower. You don't have to pick it up so high. It's good right in front of the table there. Right there. You can see that right here. So these are a bunch of materials set on top of each other. They're all liquids. But guys, are they all mixed together? No. Do they look like they're all mixed together? Travity says no. No. They're all here, staying no. separate. They're all staying separate. Hey, Travity, since we only have two people right now, maybe we can turn on AJ and Carly for now so we can hear them and we'll test it out that way. Is that cool? Yes. Okay. All right. What do you guys think? Is it mixing or not mixing, AJ and Carly? Not mixing. Yeah, right. we can hear you, Carly. Can you hear me, Carly? That's Mason. Mason, can you hear me, Mason? Yes. Carly, can you hear me? Say yes. Yes. All right. How about AJ? So we can... Say hi to AJ. Oh, and AJ, say hi to us, AJ. Hi. All Excellent. right. Excellent. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about density first, and then we'll get into the experiments. Mm -hmm. I have uh, two rocks here. Yes, you see the two rocks? This is rock number one. This is rock number two. I'm going to drop it in the water. Who thinks rock number one will float? Who thinks rock number two will float? Who thinks they'll both float? Who thinks neither of them will float? These are both rocks. Which one do you think is going to float? Guys, speak to us. We can hear you. Shout it out. You see the rocks. <laughs> You see the rocks? Oh, it's clean. It's all moving. Rock number one, who thinks it'll float? Say yes. I do. Mm -hmm. You need to talk. Say yes, say no. Yes. Shout it out. Yes. Okay, Mason says, yeah, he thinks that one might float. Right, I'm going to drop what? this rock in the water. Let's see if it floats. No. Oh, you're wrong. Wrong. So no way, rocks no. don't float, right? So, so that was kind of a trick question, right, guys? That's silly. Yeah. You know the answer. Pay attention. We all know rocks sink, right? Let's all, see. all rocks sink, right, guys? Here's a tiny little rock. Do you think you'll float? Yeah. Uh, yes. Who thinks yes? Yes. It's a tiny, it's tiny one. Oh, did it float? Yeah. Do they float? They're tiny, tiny. The tiny. sand float. Yes. No. 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 So, so even though they're tiny rocks, they don't float. Them. Because they're rocks, they do not float, right? Wait. Oh. Oh. That's sugar. Does this rock float? Yes. yes. How's that one float? Oh, it's bigger. It has an air pocket. It's not magic. This is science. Why is that rock floating, Mr. Bond? Air, air pocket. Oh, oh whoa, whoa. good answer. Good answer, Mason. This, this is sedimentary rock formed in, in rivers. This is a rock that floats in water. Oh, 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 is rock that came up out of a volcano, igneous rock. And as it bubbled up, air bubbled through it. And so this is much less dense than this. AJ, what you're eating? What are you eating right now? Apples. A what? Apples. Ah, uh, do apples have air pockets in them? <laughs> yes. Yeah, are they as hard as a rock? No. No. Mm. So, that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about density. If there is a lot of stuff in a small amount of volume, it won't float, it is dense. If there is much less stuff, it will not float, it is less dense. 
So we're talking about different kinds of density today. How much stuff is in a given amount of volume? So what's our first hands-on experiment? So the first the thing we're going to do, we're going to do our density tower, which is right here. And I want to tell you before we get started, another thing about density is that liquids can be dense or less dense as well. Not only some. Yeah, I know. What we're going to do today, we're going to take five different liquids. Well, some of them might, might be semi-liquid. And we are going to put them in here. We're going to make them separate themselves. So this so is guys, our example. Good dump. Okay. Stop picking it up. Mm -hmm. Remember, we're nice and tight. I'm sorry, unless we go really tight. But you're good. You don't need to pick anything up. It is right in the camera right now. And you can actually put the rocks in front there because they didn't get to see the rocks. That's why they were confused. They didn't see the rocks. No, because we were picking them up and holding them up as opposed to putting them in the square there. Cool. All right, good. All right, so I'm going to move this out of the way. This was our other days. Now we've got a bottle right here. Can you guys see the bottle? Give me Everybody a thumbs up. Everybody say yes. Thumbs up. Yes. Yep, but they got muted again. Yes. Okay. All right, good. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do, grab your corn syrup. Everyone grab your corn syrup. Come around the back. <laughs> Set it on the table in front of you. On the table. All right. So it can be right here, and we are going to pour this directly in here. What is this? This is corn syrup. Corn syrup. You want a good layer, about an inch of corn syrup in your bottle. If you don't have enough corn syrup, that's okay. And it's very thick and heavy. Yes, this is less dense or more dense? More dense. This is more dense than probably any other material we're going to use today. We've got corn syrup, soap, water, mineral. Sorry, vegetable oil and isopropyl alcohol. The lightest one is probably going to be our isopropyl alcohol. With so mineral are you guys, Sorry, with are you mineral, guys, Mr. Bond, I apologize. Are you guys pouring it in? Is everybody doing that? Give us a thumbs up when you're done. Hold your thumb up until we can get everyone done. So other kinds of oils would also be alternatives to vegetable oil? Yep, mineral oil. Any oil really would work. It's up to you guys. But or car oil, oil wouldn't be good. The car oil yeah, would be a little gross. It would work, but it would be gross. Yeah. All right, next chemical. So we've got our soap here. This is red, regular dishwashing soap right here. We're gonna pour, well, we're gonna pour this into a second container. And it is okay if you don't have a pipette or a syringe or a baster. But it's best to use one of these so you don't disturb the two liquids into each other. So, we're going to take our soap, we're going to pour it in here. We're going to take our baster, if you have one, and you're going to suck it up. Excellent. We're going to wait till that kind of levels out, and then we're going to put it up against the side of the bottle and slowly pour the soap in. Nice, that's Slowly, slowly. The slower you go, the more your layers will be completely separate. I'm gonna zoom in on that now so they can actually see it. Are you pouring a hug? Pour away. Go ahead and get that soap in there, guys. Try not to make bubbles. Avoid bubbles at all costs. You can even wait to your, for your bubbles to go up to the top here. Not quiet. Right. Speak a little louder. That was great. Hey guys, can you see the layers? See how we have two layers there? It's clear on the bottom and blue on the top. Two Perfect. clear layers. Layers. Looks gorgeous. All right. Now I'm gonna wash out my baster really quickly, just to make sure we don't get any soap in our next material. You don't want to contaminate. 
Ooh, Travity made a good comment. He said, pour it over the back of a spoon and it will flow a little, ah. less, little less disruptively. Good one. Give Mr. us a Mom, thumbs up if you have here. your two layers. Would you tell them what cross-contamination means? It's on the back up so you can actually see. No, no, no. Cross-contamination is when the water off Cross-contamination is when one, say our soap, gets in with our water, and then they're all mixed together so they won't work as well for the experiment. Cross-contamination is a very big thing nowadays. So the next thing we're gonna do, get our base sugar ready. We're gonna dip it in the water, suck up as much water as we can. Remember guys, hold it up against the side of your bottle. It's okay if a little bit comes out. Then you're gonna slowly, slowly pour. As you get a water layer on there, it'll become easier and you can pour a little bit faster. You wanna go slow at first. Looking good. Trained professional. Trained. Yeah, that's great. Let's grab a little bit more. Can you see three layers? Raise your hand if you can see the three layers, guys. Thumb. Oh, good. We got a thumb. Mom's got a big thumb. All right, we've got our water in there. That's Mason, perfect. show us your thumb if you can see the three layers. Excellent. All right. Now we've got our oil next. Actually, does everyone have, is everyone up to date? Is everybody caught up? You've got your three layers? Everyone's caught up. All right, next. Next, next we've got our vegetable oil, mineral oil, any oil you would like to use, use an oil. Except for car oil. Anything toxic oil. we don't work with right now. We want to work with stuff that you can be safe around. All right, so we've got our oil in here. Be dripping a little bit. We're going to try and just pour this right in here. This one will always separate because water is a polar molecule. Can everyone type in chat polar? I want to make sure that you guys remember that one. Polar. Like North Pole and South Pole. Exactly. Because molecules actually sometimes have a North Pole and a South Pole. Travity a spelled plus and a minus. Travity got the word polar up there for them to look at. Excellent, excellent. So, oil is an example of a non-polar molecule. It will, it's kind of mixed up. There's not one side that is more positive or negative than the other side. It's mixed in between. But, water, for example, has one side that's more of a plus, like a, the plus side of a magnet, and the other side is more negative, and that makes it a polar molecule. And what that does, I'll show you. So a polar molecule has north and south, plus and minus, that are clearly separated. Oil, the plus and the minus are randomly mixed up and they don't separate at all. And you can see that with surface tension. So Coco Bond is filling a bowl with water. Move this out of the way for a moment before you put this right in here. All right, now I'm gonna take my baster again. I'm gonna grab some more water. Perfect. Zoomed in nice and close on the bowl. Everybody check out that bowl. Watch what happens. This is so cool. So guys, we have to be very, very slow with this. Make sure not to spill out of our bowl. We're gonna slowly pour and pour more water in until it is on the brim of the bowl. The very, very brim. All right, another one. What so, happens when water gets to the edge of the bowl? Well, we'll show you in just one second. It spills over, because that's what happens. When you fill it up too high, it's just gonna run right over the edge and all over the table, right? And when you think it's full, you can still add more. What? You can still add more and more. That's impossible. It's ready to spill. Everybody Keep say, going, go, go, go on more and more. Everybody say, don't spill. All 
right guys, so we are keep at going. the very, very, very brim. And right now I'm gonna to continue to add water until we can see a slight bulge in the water. Wow! I might have messed up the surface tension. It looks like a bubble on the top. Yeah, you can see the water making a dome. And you can put in way more than you think you can. That's really clear. Because of surface tension. Everybody say surface tension! Surface tension! This is also called cohesion. And while we're talking about this, guys, remember how I said water has a positive and negative side? We always want to remember that, that opposites attract. Negative will always go to positive. Positive will go, always go to negative. Negative and negative don't want to be together. And positive and positive don't want to be together. So what's happening right here is all of the different water molecules are floating around each other. And eventually, the positive side of one water mole molecule reaches the negative side of the other molecule and they attach. They will slightly attach. And this is called cohesion. So this would be a really easy experiment to do at home. I could do this over and over again, yeah. couldn't I? Oh yeah, it's easy. You can just see how the water is slightly staying more together than it is falling apart. Can I add color to this? Would it hurt it or change the experiment? Let's do it right now. Wow. We've got green right here. We'll use some green. so close to going over the edge. I don't want to move that. <laughs> yeah, I'll be very careful. What if you well, eye drop? Idea, idea, Wait, idea, what if you idea. use the, what if you took some, oh, oh look at that bulge. Out, uh, that is so cool. No bulge. It's the battle of the bulge. Mr. Bond knows all about that. He's English. Oh, I thought you meant this bulge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's next? All right. Another and layer? Preserve. There we go. All right. We've got our water, our soap. Wait, we need to change the color of our water. It looks oh. way too much like that corn syrup. Oh, right? no. Cool. So let's use, should we use red, blue, or yellow? Guys, this is a, new, a change, so we're going to add color to the, but the water's covered up by the oil. How are we going to do that? This is a water-based food coloring, which means it has water in it, and it's a dye that's kind of dissolved into water. So, do you think it'll mix with the oil? The non-polar oil mixing with the polar water-based food coloring? Will it ever mix? Mm. I don't think so. All right, we're gonna go with, let's go with blue, actually. That's, I know, the other one's blue. What do we got? Red, green. Go. So it's dropping through the oil and it's dropping through the. <gasps> it just let go. Oh, it just burst in the water. Did you see that, guys? Yeah, we saw that. that was it weird. burst right there. Do you guys see the second bubble that's still on the oil? It oh, has yeah, a little there. tiny bubble underneath it. So what's happening is the oil is coating the ball of food coloring and then. The ball of food coloring goes into the water, but it doesn't mix immediately because it's got that bubble of oil all around it. And is oil non-polar or polar? Type of check. You have any idea? Non-polar. It's gonna say. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> all right. Now, are you ready for the next material? Give me a oh, thumbs up. AJ was shouting something. Can we unmute AJ? Wow. Can we see what's going Oh, wow, that looks great. Mason, show us what you got. Nice. Hey, Mason, are you using a Mason jar? Uh -huh. Yes. Awesome. Very <laughs> cool. All right, so have you added your food coloring yet, Mason? Um, yes. Awesome. All right. What color did you use? Blue and and yellow. Good. I can start to see them. They're slowly mixing. Yes. 
What was that word that you guys were talking about yesterday when we did this? What were the two science words for mixing and not mixing? So mixing is miscable. When something can mix together, it is miscable. When it doesn't mix together at all, like oil and water, which is, which oil is nonpolar and water is polar, it is called immiscable. It's really close, but miscable and immiscable. Like oil and vinegar, immiscable. All right, so are you guys ready to add our last bit to this one? Uh -huh. Thumbs up. One more, can't be cool. Got, got the thumbs up. All right, this is the isopropyl alcohol. We're going to put this in here. Excuse me, in here. We're going to grab our baster. Just like we've been doing the whole time, we're going to hold it up against the side. Ooh, this actually won't stay in the baster very well. Oh, nice. Would the, so would the density cool. of the liquid matter on how well it stays in the baster? Mm, yes, yeah, it actually, actually would. Oh. The density of a liquid, if it's very much less dense, it will fall out of the baster much, much easier. Faster. Wow. And we've got a great layer again there. For Watch, the guys. Yeah, that, there that we go. Fast. Now it's reaching equilibrium. Oh, that's a good sign. Backing up a bit so you can actually right. see that. Yeah. All right. That looks great. Beautiful. Excellent. All right, guys, so this is our density tower. And if you leave that for a few days, it'll look like this. It looks like outer space almost, doesn't it? This one has been left for two days so far. Okay and it's still not mixing, right? So we've got our ice probe alcohol, our, what is that? That's water? No, that's ice probe alcohol, water, like mineral oil. We added a few more materials to this one. Yeah. Um, one. Corn syrup was the first one, right? Yeah. On the bottom? Corn syrup, so green was water, food color, uh, Vegetable oil. vegetable oil, food coloring and water, and then ice broke out. Guys, guys. All right, and as we can see, our colors are mixing more now, and we still have a few drops of food coloring that are actually stuck in the soap on the bottom one. I'm not sure if you can see. So it's more dense to less dense. Is yeah. that right? Yes, the bottom is more dense, and the top is less dense. Perfect, because Denser things want to go down, right? Let's show that off. Let's drop a few of these little bits here we've got. Let's start off with attack. We're going to drop it right in this one. Okay, okay. hold on. Ready? Let me zoom in. Hey, if we drop stuff down, let's show everybody what we're going to drop on the wide angle, and then I can get in close as you drop each of them in. Can we do that? Can we go through what we're going to put in there? We can actually keep it on the uh, thin angle. I'm going to show them up here. So this is the first thing we're going to add. We're going to add a tap. We're ready to go. I am... You are now nice and tight. Good. All right. Three, two, one. That went straight through the isopropyl alcohol. Ooh, it caught... It hit right on that red bubble and it actually caught it. You can see it. It's right now. Ooh, cool. And it took it down into the oil. Yep. All right. It fell all the way down into the... Corn syrup at the bottom. Oh yeah, corn syrup, not oil. Wow. And we've got our paper clip. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh. Excellent. It's just going to the corn syrup a little bit. Now yeah. let's try a nickel. This one's really dense. This I think this one might reach the bottom. But it's not made of nickel. Oh yeah, that oh, yeah. all the way down, way to the bottom. All right, let's try a penny. Looks like we're picking lots of dense things, aren't we? Now, this is less dense. This is an eraser. Let's try it in the big one. Three, two, one. That stopped just about the soap, right above the water. All right, now. I don't. Wow, that's so dense, it doesn't even go into the yeah, it's bottom. Weird. It's weird. Well, actually, the question is who's dense, actually, at this point. All right. We've got uh, a 
the bottle top, thank you. I'm gonna drop this right on top, three, two, one. And that didn't even make it through the first layer. Although the next thing we drop on it will probably push it down. Let's try, do we have anything super, let's try wood. That's interesting. Three, two, one. That's a Lincoln log. Ah, it doesn't even go through the isopropyl alcohol. Why doesn't Why? the wood sink? Because it is less dense than the isopropyl alcohol. Yep. Even solids can be less dense than other liquids. What of wood floats like boats because it's less dense than water. All right, guys, let's move on to our lava lamp. We don't have too much time today. AJ, where, where are you? Let's do our lava lamp now, AJ. Can we come around and see their uh, density towers? towers? Do you all want to show? Yeah, come around. We're going to come around and look at your density towers before we move on. All right, so AJ? Show us your density towers. All right. Travis, can we switch to uh, Mason, aka Carly? Okay, we're at Mason first. Show us your density tower. Lift it up just a little bit, bud. Excellent job. Ooh. That looks awesome. Deep, rich colors. Very, I like that. Excellent. All right, how about AJ now? All right, AJ, you're on big screen. Good job, AJ. Pull it, That's pull awesome. it closer to you a little bit. Good. Perfect. We want to awesome. see your pretty face in there too. What, what color is that down towards the bottom? Did you use a glitter paint or a uh, shiny paint? No, I just used a food coloring. That's wow. all. Wow, that looks cool. really cool. All right, anybody, anybody else? else? Nice job, guys. All right. Now we are going to move on to our lava lamp next, which is you need your water bottle now. First thing I want you to do, take the wrapper off your water bottle. This is the hot bar from it. Who needs a wrapper? And then you're gonna drink half of your water bottle. No matter what size your water bottle is, drink half of it. So you're gonna pour one out for P Diddy. <sighs> Guys, water's really good for you. I suggest you drink it. Drink as much water as you can. Don't drink it all! It's at the perfect height. This is what we're making, so half of it should be water. What right. is that, Mr. Bond? Half of what? Half of your bottle should be filled with water. Water. All right, and do you want to make it a different color or do you want to leave it as it is? We're going to do that later. Okay. Moving in tighter, here we go. Right. So you, you guys can see. Thumbs up when we're ready to go. We are set. Everybody else set? Do you all have your materials? Mason, are you set? Give me a thumbs up. AJ, are you set? They're set. Perfect. All right, so you're gonna take your oil, oil, any oil that you have. It doesn't have to be a vegetable oil, and it's better if it's a clear oil, but it doesn't matter. And you're gonna pour it right in the top. If you have a funnel, use a funnel. It's interesting that vegetable oil has a yellow color, and I know that when we work with mineral oil, that's a little bit more like white, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Clear. So. so guys, uh, make sure you have a little bit of space from the top to the oil, because we're gonna put something in there called Alka-Seltzer in just a minute, and this is gonna make it fizz and boil and float up to the top and be awesome, but, if you put it at the top, if you put the oil all the way up to the top, your oil will start to spill out. So we want to put a little bit of room there. Can I shake it? No. Oh, not yet. The next thing we're going to add is any food coloring you would like. It's up to you. So we're going to do a yellow one this time. Yellow food coloring. You can add as many drops as you like. If it's a dark color, you want to add a little bit less than a lighter color because if you add too much of a dark color, it will actually turn your uh, lava lamp a little bit black. Ooh, that is so cool. It's not going through. Oh, there goes one. Oh, there goes one. There it goes. I'm going to zoom in closer, guys. See if you can see these bubbles before they pop. Remember, guys, the oil is coating the outside of the food-based watercolor. Water color, and it's not allowing it to spread into the water easily. It takes a second. You can see there are still one to two drops. I'm gonna drop a few more drops in there. 
See if we can get a good one. Can I shake it? Mr. Bond really wants to shake it. <laughs> Not yet. It's interesting how we call that yellow and at first it looks so orange. Yeah. It looks orange. like pee to me. Yeah. <laughs> These look great. Just sitting there on the top. Excellent. Now if you've got glitter, add your glitter now. As you add your glitter, it might actually break up those bubbles because it's going to break the surface tension. Can I shake it now? No! Patience is a virtue, Mr. Vaughn. Patience what? is a virtue. Oh, Light look glitter. at that glitter dropping through there. That looks so cool. The glitter really makes the lava lamps glow. So guys, you can see, because mineral oil is more dense than water, it'll take a longer time to go through the mineral oil, sorry, the vegetable oil than the water actually. So we can see. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh cool. Cool. Yeah. All right, now can I shake it? Now you can shake it. Put the top on guys. Make sure you put the top on. Always put the top on. Never leave the top off. So this will all mix together, but it won't stay together forever because it's immiscible. They will never mix. No matter if you blow them up, heat them up, punch them, they will never mix. You can see already they're starting to separate the less dense water, um, oil and the more dense water. All right, and for the last thing we're gonna do with these, well, we're gonna do two more things actually. If you have tape, I would suggest getting it now. We're gonna do that as the final step. If you do have alpha seltzer, that's the next thing we're going to do. So get a packet out. I want you to tear it in half. You should get one tablet. You're going to break it in half. And I'll wait for everyone to get started. Cool. All right, everybody set for this step. Give us thumbs up, AJ and Mason, when you're ready to go. It is all right if you do not have alpha seltzer. It's okay. Yep, be sure to take that cap off and don't put the cap on yet. We shouldn't have a cap on our on our mini lava lamp yet. Alka-Seltzer will actually produce carbon dioxide, which means the gases are expanding and getting bigger. So as it expands and gets bigger, if you put a top on the bottle, your bottle will probably pop and explode and get everywhere. Do you want oil and water and glitter all over your house? I don't. So be careful. We're going to slowly put our alpha seltzer tablets in the top. Three, two, one. And we're going to leave the top off. As you can see, that carbon dioxide is going up to the top of the bottle. It is bringing the oil up to the top. It is mixing it all around. And actually, Mr. Bond, I'm going to put the top on for a quick second. And give it a shake. And we'll see what happens. Nice, so we shake it up and then we have it, okay. How's that looking, guys? Does it look cool? Are you doing yours? Let's try one more thing. If you have your mom's phone or a flashlight anywhere near you, you can just put it right underneath and it looks oh, awesome. Oh, okay. Brilliant. Look at that, yeah, don't move, just sit. Check it out, guys. And don't put the cap back on because it's still creating gas that will pop your bottle. Now a flashlight is better for this. That way you don't get any potential spills on your expensive iPhone or Android device. But flashlight is safer, but hazmat, hazmat, sorry. Covalent Bond has this incredible phone with a bright, bright light. So it looks really cool. Also batteries went out. Yeah. I didn't want to I didn't want to admit to that one but yeah we bought cheap flashlights and they don't seem to work anymore can we come and see your lava lamps bubbling yeah let's leave this on that for right now can we just leave that sitting yep. there and then you come over here while they have... all right guys we're gonna come and look at yours oh hey this is all right, Mason. Mason. 
Mason, did you have any alka seltzer? No. It's okay, it still bubbles really cool. Mm -hmm. Give it a good shake. I want you to shake it around real, real good, real good. Back it up a little bit. Get on there. All right. Get on there. there Excellent. Thank you, Dad. What else did we put in there, Mason? What are the glittery things? Those are those are sequins. Oh, that's so cool. Good choice, buddy. That's awesome. Look at them. That's really cool. All like right, the flashing too. That's awesome. Let's switch to AJ's and check out AJ's. Good job, Mason. Excellent job. All right, AJ. Excellent. AJ, push it all, all the way up against the flashlight. Yeah. Do Excellent. you have a do you have a cap for that bottle? You can put it. Did you put it out? If you didn't put an alka seltzer in there, you can put a cap on it. Excellent job. All what right. color did you decide with this one? AJ? Ask her again. What color did you put in there, AJ? Red and blue. Red and blue. Deep. Nice. You can turn, now that you have the cap on, you can turn it upside down and then back over it again. Try giving it a good shake, AJ. Turn the bottle upside down and then... Shaky, up. shaky. She wants to make sure the cap's on. Good for her. There. There you go. All right, now turn it back over again. Put your light through. Wow, that's really cool. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So, AJ, sometimes with the darker colors, it's harder to see the flashlight through it, but that's okay. Your, your bob lamp still looks awesome. That's it. All right, guys. So we should, we're gonna leave you both Let's unmute both of them and let's hear, do you have any questions that you want to ask Mr. Bond or Covalent Bond? Uh, no. What? Oh, I have a question. Why did I get milk if we're not using it? Oh, you can use it as a layer if you want to. That's one you can try. Yep. Oh. And all the extra materials were just in case you didn't have any of the stuff that we had here today. Yep. I'll, I'll try Guys, more materials. Guys, this week's club, and we'll see you next week. Uh, remember, we are doing more clubs like this. We're doing birthday parties. We also will be doing summer camps this summer online. So if you can't go out to a real summer camp, then you can join us online. We hope to see you. Um, thank you again. I'm Covalent Bond, the science guy. I'm Mr. Bond, everybody's dad. Everybody's dad. See you guys next time. Good job. Bye, guys. Bye, I'll guys. See you later, guys. Check out our YouTube videos as well. We're on YouTube.